The place, rural North Carolina, about 40 miles outside of Charlotte in a small town called Shelby. Population 20,276. At first glance, perhaps an unlikely place to be the home of the future of mission critical operations. In fall 2013, the U.S. Department of Labor Employment Training Administration provided a $23 million grant to establish the National Consortium for Mission Critical Operations, NCMCO. Cleveland Community College, along with other academic and industry partners, is leading the development of a comprehensive mission critical operations academic program. This grant is the largest ever awarded to North Carolina community colleges. Data Air, a pioneer in mission critical cooling, is a part of this groundbreaking program at Cleveland Community College. The new program is uniquely positioned to serve the mission critical personnel needs of the exploding data center industry in the region, which includes several major companies. Our award was about $23.2 million. $13 million of that went to Cleveland Community College and we're the lead in the consortium. Mission Critical Operations is comprised of courses in engineering, automation, HVAC, um, information technology, safety, facilities management, all of that blended together to create a hybridized curriculum to train mission critical operators to work in data centers, 911 call centers, hospitals, critical laboratories, and any other mission critical space. With data centers, manufacturing processes, testing labs, and applications of any size, even indoor agriculture facilities, comes the all-important need for ultra-precision environment control. After a rigorous research and selection process, Data Air G-Force crack units were chosen not only for the mission critical program, but for the main campus data center itself. Their criteria? Data Air equipment is reliable, has low decibel ratings, is ultra efficient, matches load and demand with ease, and interfaces with existing building automation systems. North Carolina has been a hot spot for mission critical operations. Uh, we have seen an influx of data centers into this area, specifically the Piedmont region of North Carolina. Uh, so much so that some call it the data center corridor. Uh, we have Google, we have Facebook, we have Disney, we have Apple, we have Wipro, uh, we have AT&T, and just to name a few of the data centers that are within a 50 mile drive from Cleveland Community College. So one reason that I think that these facilities are located in North Carolina is number one, our abundance of land, our abundance of utilities and power, and the cost of those utilities and power. Well, in this area, it seems <laughs> that there's really endless opportunities. The data centers are coming in. Uh, just as fast as they seem they can build them. Uh, in fact, I was just passing Facebook and they're building, a, looks like they're doubling their size and they've only been here for a year or so. So it uh, looks like the opportunities are really going to be endless. We purchased uh, at least five uh, data air crack units for our data centers. They were recommended by our engineers and designers that we had working on this project for their value and their reliability. Um, some of the things that I like about Data Air is even standing next to this unit, I cannot hear it running. Uh, so, you know, I hear the ambient noise in the data center from fans from servers, routers, switches. I do not hear the fans from the Data Air units. And that's important, I think, and one reason we're able to stand here and shoot this video because this unit is not creating the noise level that you would expect to hear from a crack unit. I can walk up to this unit and using the DAP4 processor, I can click and kind of log in and change the uh, values. You know, I can raise the temperature, lower the temperature, and that's all very easy to do and it's very intuitive. Uh, from the interface. With this program and with uh, data there's equipment, I, I believe we're going to be able to help each other uh, in the long run uh, by communicating back and forth uh, different situations that we can run across. As far as data air is concerned, I, uh, I understand that the flagship for them is the G-Force unit. It's uh, what we have, we have several around on the campus that we work with and that we uh, I also understand that they were placed into the tr new trade center that was built. So I'm assuming that uh, they're gonna be the top in the industry and it's definitely something I wanna be part of and learn more about. 
I feel that um, this, this program is groundbreaking and that other colleges and universities will be inspired by what we're doing and that we will meet the demand of the um, data centers in this area. Um, we have Facebook, Google, um, Disney, just to name a few. So I, I think that as we meet their demand, other, other colleges and universities will pick up on what we're doing. We really have seen a lot of interest from other colleges and universities, not only in North Carolina and South Carolina, but across the state in implementing a mission critical operations program. Part of our grant is to develop sustainability and outreach processes to extend mission critical training and to really put it out there. So over the next academic year, that's really going to be a strong focus of ours, is really expanding the, uh, the reach of mission critical operations. To learn more about the Mission Critical Operations Program for Data Air Products, call 1-800-347-2473 today or visit dataair.com.